In this video, I have a simple solution for hanging backdrops and backgrounds for your self-tape auditions, your Zoom calls, uh, performances, uh, YouTube videos, anything like that where you might need a plain background and your current workspace doesn't work for you. I have a simple solution that is maybe not the most elegant, but it's, it's real cheap and uh, it, it allows you to set up in just a few minutes. Hey there everybody, my name is Doug Fall. This is Augmented Actor, where we help you augment your acting career with tips and tactics and tech. So as I said in my intro, you might need to have a backdrop. Now, if you're doing a self-tape audition, you're gonna want a plain backdrop. But if you're doing, say, a Zoom call or a Zoom performance, you might want to have a set, a backdrop that is a set. Now, I use a certain backdrops in my videos for YouTube, uh, anything from a green screen, to different colored fabrics, to a bookcase backdrop, and a warehouse backdrop. Now, there are a whole bunch of different kinds of printed backdrops that you can get online. I have some suggestions down below in the links, so check those out. And when you have a backdrop like this, putting them up and taking them down, especially if you staple it to the wall or, or something like that, you it takes a lot of time and puts a lot of holes in your wall and it's inconvenient when you have to set up for every audition, especially if you're getting two or three auditions a week. I shoot out of my bedroom, right? So all of my YouTube videos are right here in this tiny little square of space. I am in an attic room, so I have sloped ceilings. I have a bed and a desk and a bunch of furniture. My walls are painted dark purple and yellow, so they don't look very good on camera. And I just don't have room to build a set. So backdrops are what I use most of the time. So there's a couple solutions for hanging. If you have a larger space and say your ceilings are high, you're probably gonna wanna get a tripod set. This is basically where you have two tripods that extend up to eight or 10 feet up above and there's a crossbar between the two tripods and you hang your paper or your fabric backdrop from that. But this requires you to set up and tear down the tripods and have sandbags and it can just take a lot of setup time. So unless you have a place that you can dedicate for that, it's not the most elegant solution. So what I like to do is a simple, cheap, inexpensive solution and that is to get some twine and some medium-sized binder clips and a staple gun and basically make a staple clothesline hanger <laughs> for your backdrops. So what this looks like is just some ropes that are stapled to your ceiling, if you have low ceilings, or you can even staple it in front of a blank wall. Once hung, you can just leave the rope there and you don't ever have to take it down, and then you attach your drops to the rope itself. So if you have a landlord that won't let you put holes in the wall or staples or something like that, then this might not be the solution for you. But since it does stay up once you put it up, it, you're only making those holes once and not every single time you hang a drop. Plus you're not putting holes through your fabric every single time uh, by stapling it and undoing the staples. I use the eighth inch rope so that the binder clips can go around it easily, but it's still pretty sturdy. And you wanna make sure it's rope that's made out of twine and not like plastic cording that you would use to hang clothes with because the plastic cording stretches a little bit. It loses its um, its shape and so it starts to drip down like that. You also don't wanna use yarn because yarn will break and stretch as well. Okay, then you wanna decide where your backdrop is gonna hang and get your rope, measure it to the right length and then tie a little knot in the end of the rope like this, leave a little bit of space and then tie another one about an inch or two inches further from that. This is where you're going to hang your end binder clip. Then every foot or so, you wanna want to tie another little knot in the rope. Get a staple gun. It doesn't have to be a really heavy duty one. Just regular staples will work great. And you wanna staple on either side of each knot as you lay the rope out across. Then you just use medium sized binder clips to hang your fabric on across the row. Now, if you don't have any of these supplies, I have links down below, or you can find them in almost any uh, home shopping store. Now you can leave these ropes up all the time in your space. They are pretty inconspicuous. And if the rope color doesn't blend with your paint color, you can always paint the rope the same color as your walls. Now let's talk a little bit about the backdrops themselves. Now most fabric comes in rolls of four feet in width. Uh, but you want to look for the rolls that are six feet in width. That way you have six feet from top to bottom and there won't be any seams where you had to stitch, stitch the fabric together. And it also saves you time not having to 
sew any fabric. To determine the length of your cloth, set your camera up where you want it and with you know the settings that you're going to use when you shoot and then uh, bring your hand out of frame like this and then mark that spot on your ceiling and then over here you bring your hand out of frame and you mark that spot. Then you measure between those two spots and you want to give yourself uh, an extra foot or two of fabric at least the more the, the better but um, you know give yourself some margins on the side so that you can adjust the camera angle a little bit. You don't want to uh, be left with too little fabric. Now when choosing a fabric I prefer to use felt because it is thick and heavy it holds its shape so it doesn't wrinkle and crease as easily as some other fabric fabrics. It's not see-through so much, so if you have light behind you or a window, it's not going to bleed through as much. And it doesn't have a reflective surface, so light lights evenly across it. You want to avoid cotton and linen and other really soft, uh, thin fabrics because they wrinkle super easily and you'll just be ironing and steaming forever. I recommend you iron your fabric when you first get it, but then a, a, a simple hand steamer will take out creases and whatnot in the backdrop. Now you can also use paper as a backdrop, but if you're going to use paper, you want an industrial roll of paper like photographers use so that you can pull down a new sheet each time. And you're going to want to put that on a crossbar and tripod. So that's it. It's a pretty simple solution for functionality of hanging your backdrops and it won't break the bank either. If you like this video and found it useful, make sure you hit the like button. And also there are some other useful videos on your screen right now. I hope to see you here next time.